what do you do when you want to give your LLM, your AI, more than will fit in a chat? And how do you keep it consistent information that you can trust if you have a lot of information and you have to like squeeze it into an AI? I get this question a lot. People are like, how do I organize all my notes? How do I learn a new topic? Nate, you have so many articles. What do I do with them? The answer is a personal retrieval augmented generation system. But for people who are non-coders, that's not super accessible. I have been looking and looking and looking for the past few months for the best answer for this. I got to tell you, the best answer is free and it's Google. Google has launched Notebook LM and nothing comes close to beating it for the ability to learn complicated subjects, the ability to have lots of documents in one place, the ability to have reliable search across those documents. I gotta be honest with you, the LLM search with the lowest hallucination rates right now is Notebook LM. There is nothing else that comes close. It is extremely precise about what it recalls. But let me show you. I always think examples are more helpful here. This is an actual document from one of my articles a few months back where I talked about Microsoft Copilot. The document is 62 pages long. It is a long read. What if you don't have all the time in the world and you want to just understand what's relevant for you? Well, Notebook LM is honestly the best tool out there for figuring that out. And you'll note that in this case, even though I could add lots of other sources, I've chosen just to have a conversation with this doc so that I can get exactly what I want. It could add more if I wanted, I'm not gonna. It gives me a summary of what's in the doc. This is very accurate. I wrote it, I should know. Uh, it gives me specific use cases for non-coders because I asked for that. And so it goes through and gives me a really great answer based strictly on the document. It cites everything it's getting. So you can actually see where it's citing it, which is phenomenal. Uh, and then it comes down and I can ask, well, give me some non-obvious use cases, right? And it's going to give me like specific use cases also in the doc. This is a way to get gold out of these longer documents, not just for me, but like for any situation where you have, say, a longer academic paper or a complicated subject to learn about. Or let's say you have transcripts and notes for a particular project or maybe with a client and you just need to get them organized somewhere and talk about them and get very accurate retrieval. You can do that. And by the way, if you're not a reader, look at how you can work with this in non-ready ways. Audio overviews work really well. There's a video overview. There's a mind map option, reports, flashcards, quizzes. This is designed to help you learn. We are sleeping on Notebook LM right now, and that's why I want to talk about it. So what is it that makes me confident that I can recommend this to people who just need a personal RAG system, a personal system for notes, et cetera? Fundamentally, it is the combination of accuracy and a project mindset. Everything in Notebook LM is a project, and so you can put any project orientation you want. You can have a project per client, a project per subject. You can do both. And all you have to do is put the links you care about, put the articles you care about into that project. And it's so easy to add more docs. It will accept just about any file type uploaded, and it will also make it very easy for you to link any file you want on the internet. So if you are behind a paywall, you can just download an academic journal of some sort, upload it to Notebook LM, and it works great. That is why I think it's the most flexible tool for that use case. Now, could I have recommended to you a custom coded implementation using Obsidian and a local language model? Yes, I know people who do that who are engineers. It is super helpful if you are an engineer and you're willing to build your own retrieval augmented generation system using a local AI. Most of the people I talk to who desperately want something that they can use at home to organize stuff and talk with AI that is much bigger than a chat window, they are not going to code. And so I wanted to find something that's useful. And I want to be honest with you about where it works as a user and where it doesn't. Where are the weaknesses? Because to be honest with you, this gets back to the memory problem. There is no perfect solution. This is the best solution we have at this time, but there is no perfect solution out there right now. What is good about Notebook LM is, as I've been mentioning, the accuracy, which I think is a super important feature, the ability to upload lots of sources. And so it gets, uh, you can do dozens and dozens of sources in one project. The ability to add lots and lots of projects, the multimedia outputs, the audio, the visual, I showed you those. Those are all great. The drawbacks are not killer features, but they're kind of unfortunate. I find personally that the most effective use for Notebook LM 
is actually to organize projects by theme and then to take selective searches like I showed you with Copilot there and output the selective searches like slices of accurate context into a thinking LLM to finish up work because Notebook LLM is not a great writer. Notebook LLM is not super heavy on thinking. It tends to be focused on retrieval. In fact, those two people don't know this are kind of opposites. If your LLM thinks more, it is more likely to draw from its parametric weights, its, its own internal LLM training data to answer your questions instead of looking at retrieving accurate information and putting it in front of you. And Google has correctly chosen that for this application, you want to retrieve accurately. And so you get a very accurate slice of data back, but not a lot of thinking with the data. I look at Notebook LM as a chance to extremely accurately summarize and extract slices of information I care about. And then I, I use copy and paste and I pull that out and I put it into an LLM when I need to think about it more. That is not a workflow that I see very often, but I think it's super important. You need to be able to understand that AI doesn't all do the same stuff, right? We talked about perplexity and how perplexity is AI native yesterday. Well, in the same way, this is a retrieval native system. It is focused on retrieving from a rag, but it's very tightly constrained, even more tightly constrained than perplexity, so it's super accurate. And that means it's not super cognitive, right? It doesn't think a ton, and that's the drawback that you get. I think if you're trying to build an evergreen note system for all of your notes and your notes go back for years, it will be difficult to pull them into a system like this. That is a situation where I think investing in a custom built solution is going to be more meaningful for you. Because if you have, you know, tens of thousands of notes, it just isn't at that scale. Where Notebook LM really shines is at a smaller scale where you have dozens to maybe a hundred or two sources and you want to look at these related sources in a very coherent way and retrieve things. In my experience, that is actually most people. For example, if you're trying to understand what your client has done in the last six months, you can upload recent client emails and documents or link them from Google really easily. You don't necessarily need 20 years of client history because you have that in your head if you're a longtime business owner. And you can bring that to bear and you get 80% of the value with much less effort than custom coding. Similarly, if you're trying to build a knowledge system about AI, you can have the flexibility to add a particular project for a given AI topic, learn about that, have all of that knowledge in a project, and then move on to the next thing when AI evolves, and you stay very focused on the cutting edge, but have all the old project files there. The one drawback that I think is most painful about Notebook LM that I wanna be honest about is right now it doesn't save your chats. And so when you're chatting, it feels really fluid, but you had better copy and paste out what you care about because otherwise you're gonna have to recreate that chat the next time you go in. I don't know why Google did this. I think it's silly, but there we are. It doesn't save your chats. Despite all of that, it is easily the best rag system out there, all things considered. It is the least technical, it is drag and drop, no code required, and it's free, which is not trivial when everybody else is asking you to pay stuff. And so I think it's super relevant. I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tour through Notebook LM. I'm gonna to put together a guide of use cases and also some suggested prompting tips, because again, when you're doing retrieval prompting, it's very different from doing cognitive prompting. So I'm gonna get into that in the Substack as well. Enjoy.